products from Wicked Candles. Today I'm going to show you a little bit about your Make and Create by Wicked Candle Making Kit. You would have received this in the mail as part of Creative Kids. So today I'm going to show you a little bit about what you need to do to make your own candles at home. What you get in your box to start off with is you get 10 glass jars, you get your wicks, which are these, you get your labels for the bottom, your colourful wax beads, some stickers to actually design and create your glass jars, some little cups so that then you can actually collect your beads and pop them into your jar, and all you'll need today is a pair of scissors. So maybe get mum or dad to help you at this point. So I'm going to make one for you today. Here's your glass jar. I'm going to take this off very carefully, the lid. Maybe mum can help you with that. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to put a warning label on the bottom of our candles. And we do this to make sure that we're safe around candles because they do have fire. So we're going to pop that on the bottom, just like that. Then you're going to take your wick. Now this is actually the very most important part of your candle. Without this, there is no candle. You can't actually burn anything. So we're going to peel this little sticker off the bottom and we're actually going to place that inside our jar, just like this. So it looks like this, okay? Then what we're going to do is we're going to do the fun part. We're actually going to design our glass jars. So you get some stickers and we're going to peel those off. And we're going to pop some around the jar. A bit of a star here. And maybe a flower here. You can do as many or as little as you like. I might put a little dancer lady on today. Will she come off? There she is. So once you've done that, you've got a very nice decorated jar. And remember, keep some stickers for the other nine jars you've got to do. So now what you're going to do is actually create your candle with these beautiful colours. These are only just some of the colours you get, so there are others. So you're going to scoop as many or as little of each colour as you like. Don't worry about the wig, we're going to centre that at the end. Pop some pink in on the top. Now, I'm going to centre my wig. Another important part, there's a little gap at the top. Make sure you leave that so then we can actually cut our wig, which we're going to do now with a pair of scissors, and still have enough room to pop our lid on. And there you go, there you have it your own creative candle at home. Anything you need, you can always get in contact with me via email or on my website or via our Facebook page. We're there to help you. Have fun.